Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have learned about the field set and another element that is legend. So in this one, in this one, if you try to see the output here, web form, right? If you try to see here, we are having the the form control. So these are called as form control. Name, email, street line one. So these are all are called as form controls. If you try to observe carefully about this form control, you are having one element, special element that is nothing but label. And we know about this input thing. So when we come about this input element, we'll try to see the more details about this input element. Now here, the first one is the label thing. So what is this label? The label element in the form control so gives you the meaning of this tech input box. So what is this exact, what is this input box is for? So in order to give the label, the name for this one, so we use this label. Now, how we can uh, use this one, different forms of using this label, let's try to see. I am creating a new file that is nothing but web form label. Now here, if you try to see, so I am writing the code snippet. And here I am creating a form. So form has two things that is, that is method which is of type get or post i am using get the default one is get and an action okay let's try to keep it like this and now we will be having a field set so these are all things we have already discussed uh legend let's say it's a contact form so that's it now if you try to see the output so this is the basic thing we have discussed now let's try to add the form thing now here if we try to see it let's try to add the form control so for adding the form control we use this p element we'll discuss about this p element also why we are using so for the timing we will have a label of type name and the input so this is the label and the input now here the label gives you the meaning for this text box so what is this text box is intended for we are able to see this one now we understood about this label now here we can also make we, we understood about this label right we can also make the label also clickable so we can make this label clickable so now how can we make this label as clickable is now we need to understand that this label is intended for this input box okay somehow we need to make we need to tell that by seeing the code here we are able to understand that okay this label is intended for the input why because these both are side by side the side one after the other so that we can able to determine but now if i click on this label somehow we need to get we need to know that this text box is the concern label for this one now how can we how can we know is we can add id is equal to okay so i am giving something like name and for this label we have an attribute that is nothing but name whatever the id we have given for this input element so we need to give the same id value for this for attribute now these two are combined uh, by to come tightly bind to each other that for this input element the label is this one now whenever you click on this label automatically the text box will be focused so this is tightly bind to this label so now you can understand that so this label is focused to this one so whenever you click on this label automatically the text box will be highlighted so this is how we can make the label clickable now when you click on this label automatically the input element will be focused so this is one concept another one is not only one label we can have multiple labels for an input box for any form control element we can have multiple labels for example let's say that i am having first name let's say show okay so now sorry p element and for this one i am using the first name now here i will try to use input okay now if you see here we are able to see the first name and the input box now if i click on this one nothing happens now we need to bind the label to this input element i can use id is equal to first underscore name first underscore name now for this for also i will use first underscore name so that this label is binded to this input now whenever i click on this label automatically this text box will be focused so fine 
now i have an another label also for this first name so what i want to tell is so i can use the label and i can use the star okay so now this star indicates that it is a required field okay this star indicates that it is a required field so normally what some people will try to do is they will try to use abbr attribute for this one okay and for this abbr attribute we will have a title so which indicates it is a required and also we can have area if and label which is for accessibility purpose now we can use like this now if i try to see here you are having a star which you hover you'll be able to see required field and here you are having a first name so when you are clicking on this label you are able to highlight this input box fine now when i want to click on this uh, star mark there is a required field also i want to get focused on this first name text box how can i do so here we are having a label we can also use the for attribute for this one so first underscore name okay so if you try to see if you try to click on this one so the text box is getting highlighted and also if you click on this first name the same text box is getting highlighted so in this way if you have multiple labels for a text box you can use this label concept you can use this for multiple times but this is somewhat not a preferred way if you want to uh, not preferred way so we can use it but there is also a shortest method which we can implement such that we can use this thing and also you can use the label okay inside this one i can use the name and here i can use the input okay inside the label only and i can use star mark okay so if you want you can use the use the abbreviation also you can use it also let's try to copy this abbreviation total thing okay and here let's try to say i'm using the email now if you try to see the output the same output all output appears here if i try to click on this one the same thing happens here we are not using any id or anything so just we have used the input box inside the label so previously we used to have label and input box as a input element as separate thing but here the input element and whatever the label values so everything is wrapped inside the label so that for this label this all belongs to it, this one if you want you can also give id for this one something like email and here you can use for is equal to email so this is somewhat preferred way to use then also you will get the same output okay so this is how we will be using the label normally what the people will try to do is so they will try to use like this so the preferred way of using this one is actually so this is are the different ways so you can use the label like this single label means you can use it like this and you can use the id attribute and the for attribute if you have multiple labels you can use it like this multiple label and you can use the for attributes which has the same id or otherwise you can wrap it when i can wrap it the input box and the label value everything in the inside the label the preferred way actually the correct way to solve this solution is so normally the people what they will try to do is they will try to use this label and they will try to use something like phone okay and here they will they will use we will be using abbr and here i can use the star i can use the title required and also area if and label so for accessibility purpose if you want you can use it or otherwise so this is for accessibility purpose why because so this doesn't have any content so now this attribute uh, this element doesn't have any meaning in order to have the meaning for that one we will be using so now we have used the label one label and we will be using the input okay and we can use the id is equal to phone so i am giving the id for this one so that i can use the for for attribute for this one so this is the actual correct implementation of this label now you hear when you are having multiple uh, labels for this one so it is better to wrap all the label inside the inside this one label and you can give the id for now if you try to see the output the same thing happens here nothing so these are the different ways how we can use the label for a form control so this is how we will be using the label in the different ways hope you understood about this label concept so label means nothing but in order to give the meaning the description title for this input box so we will be using the label so that the user can understand that what is this actual input box is belongs to so for this information we will be giving hope you understood about this label concept in the form control if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you